Howdy folks, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen, it's Barry here and today we're making an amazingly simple chocolate fudge cake and it was voted for by you guys. Looks amazing, right? And trust me, it's super simple, but you could really ramp it up and add anything you want on there. Uh, people like Rokus Generoskus, uh, Daniel Chang, Natalie Am Tamburini, Olivia Slater, Jamie Walton, Travis Dawson, to name another hundred more of you voted uh, for the chocolate fudge cake. The pineapple upside down cake was like 20%, something like that. It got blown out of the water, which would be quite a cool sight anyway. So anyhow, if you want to try making this, hit pause on the video now. Write all these ingredients down. You're going to love this. You're going to want to make it and go, Ugh. Sorry. Start off by adding your sugar into the mixing bowl and then following up with the remaining dry ingredients, sifting in your flour, your cocoa powder, and your bicarbonate of soda. Then give it a good mix together until it's all combined. Now all we do is follow up with the wet ingredients by making a little wet. Sorry, this isn't a giant food video, you add in your wet ingredients. Yep, so in goes the golden syrup, our beaten eggs, the oil, and the milk. And again, you wanna mix that well through until you get a really nice chocolatey batter. And all you wanna do is pour that into two tins that you've greased already. You can line them as well if you want to. Make sure they're evenly spread and simply bake them for 25 minutes. Meanwhile, we can make our buttercream by mixing together our butter and icing sugar. Now gradually add some milk to help loosen it up if you like, but remember you're gonna be adding cocoa powder, so when you add that, it will dry that up too. So also add a splash of milk there and keep going until you get a nice spreadable but thick consistency. Spread a little bit of that buttercream mixture on the base of one of the cooled sponges and then follow up by sticking the lid on top and then again completely coating that on the tops and all over the sides. Now you'll see mine was a little bit of a mess. Don't worry about it if it's a mess at this stage. People don't need to know that. Get it in your fridge so it's nice and cool and firmed up. Transfer it to a nice serving device. Device? Serving device? I dusted some ice and sugar on it, a few marshmallows on the side and it is unbelievable. Oh my goodness, and you know what? The cool thing about it being in the fridge is that sponge is gonna be super moist, and we love moist. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness, that really was good. And it's half past nine in the morning, I'm having chocolate cake. It is a hard life, my friends. But anyhow, thanks so much for voting for the recipe. Uh, the next poll up at myvirginkitchen.com is either funnel cake or homemade dime bars. I've had loads of requests for those in the last couple of weeks, so uh, let me know what you want to see. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and comment. And if you like what I do, don't forget to check out my book, Dinner's On. Those of you that have got it are loving it. So uh, thanks very much for that, guys. I'll see you again next time. I'm probably going to go eat all of that cake now. Yeah.